A young boy diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder was in need of a donor, and his big sister answered the call. Jana Shortall has their story. Enrique and Kelsey Can you focus? have their hands full <laughs> with two kids full of life. But last year at this time, they were facing odds they didn't bargain for. Good job, buddy. Eli's, uh, he's, he's one of the strongest people I know. Eli, at nine months old, was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder called Hurler syndrome. That meant his body was missing an enzyme he needed to survive. The job of that one particular enzyme affects his body from head to toe. Head to toe, organs, bones, brain, eyes, ears, teeth, everything you can think of it affects. There's no cure for Hurler, so Eli's only hope was a bone marrow transplant. The hospital that could do it was 1,923 miles from their family home in Orange County, California. That hospital was M Health Fairview, University of Minnesota, Masonic Children. Then from there, it was finding a donor yeah. for his transplant. That was a really, really crazy experience. A donor in the family would be best, but it had to be a donor that didn't carry the genetic abnormality that can cause hurler. So mom and dad were out. That only left one option. And that last option was tiny and mighty. It was his only sibling, Olivia. After a round of tests, the family found out she was a perfect match. And she was not a carrier of the gene causing Eli the harm in the first place. So the only thing left to do was get her permission. I can't get her to eat her breakfast in the morning. And she's like, yeah, let's do the bone marrow transplant. At four years old, she said yes. I gave my blood to my brother. Why? Because because he was sick. She absolutely did, and he absolutely was. But you wouldn't know it today. Bye. Today she is five and he is two, and they Bye. are the they their parents always dreamed they could be. And as for why she did it and how, I'll let her tell you. Why do you do nice things for your little brother? To make him feel better. And it worked really good. Why did it work so good? Because I ate a lot of sugar. <laughs> oh! <laughs> a perfect match, it was. And if it was made with sugar, how sweet that is. A truly sweet story. The family came back for Eli's checkups and they got great news. His eyes and ears are better than last year and his bones are showing no signs of any issues. Still ahead here at noon, tomorrow night marks the beginning of Hanukkah. So join us as we get ready with a recipe that's perfect for celebrating that holiday.